who I am is not worth mentioning, for I am a person of little importance. Indeed, my entire class could be said to possess no influence and exist only on the good graces of our betters. But truly, gentle reader, I say to you that my situation, my imprisonment, is as much your concern as it is mine, for we share the same world, you and I, and that world not only allows my situation, it encourages it. I am a prisoner, denied all human kindness, spare a barely sufficient ration of food and water. I have no freedom, I have no rights, I have no dignity. Indeed, these very thoughts exist without the means to set them down on paper. If you are reading them, I must assume that some future personage, some angel as yet unknown to me, has taken pity and interceded on my behalf. For my prison would allow no such dignity as common communication. My jailer possesses not the feeling to allow it. For hers is a world designed especially for her amusement, and her amusement does not allow for the possibility that I have feelings. Her amusement is to torture me. Soft, but I hear her nearby. My time must be short, so I will make my plea brief. I do not think that any intercession could save me, but I have hoped that these words could save others of my kind from a similar fate. I come from a race of street people, cocky and self-confident and bitterly poor. It is only natural that people in my condition should consider selling themselves as a means to survival. I know you wrinkle your nose at this, gentle reader, but it serves only as an example of how my world differs from yours. And before you think yourself too high and mighty, let me remind you to whom our wares are offered and how consistent and insatiable that market is. I suppose upon reflection that I could bear some part of the blame for my situation. For of the dozens of creatures that were walking the streets, the day I chose to leave one life and go to another, I chose one who, even among the aristocrats, must be known as a demon. She walks near me now. I can almost feel her beyond these walls. I can almost sense her thoughts as they flit back and forth with the utter stupidity of someone who is so assured of the necessities of life that she need think only of luxury. There is movement about the house now. She will come here soon, I am sure of it. All reason leaves me when she comes near, replaced only with white-hot panic. So let me entreat you, gentle reader, with the time I have left, pass a law. Find a doctor, do something for her kind. I know you look upon her with bemused indulgence, as a parent looks upon a child pulling the wings from a fly's body, but do so no more. Your society's glib assessment of my people's station does you disservice. And if the annals of history teach of anything, it is that the mighty often find themselves low with the hands of that quiet inferior, that jaunty fellow who seemed forever happy just to entertain, fixed firmly about their throat. But this is no time for idle threats, for I confess that deep down, my motives are not as altruistic as my earlier pleas suggested. If I am heard, if my words fall anywhere near the ears of a reasonable person with convictions and a mind to act, then I beg, do this. Come to me. Rescue me. Take me from this place to any hell of your choosing, and I shall curl up quietly and die, confident that wherever I am or wherever I shall go is a blessing compared to this place I have come from. Too late. Oh, please, gentle reader, if you cannot save my body, you can save my soul. The hell, the demon, it comes close. Foul harpy, she is here, her eyes alight with that satanic glow. Be there, God, be he in his heaven. Let him strike me dead now before I suffer another moment. Please, please. Whiskers, there you are. It's playtime now. Don't be Mr. Grumpy Gus. Let me pick you up. 
Now you come with me. We're going to go play tea party, and you're going to put on your cute little dress. And you're not going to complain this time. Oh, look at him. He's so cute when he's angry, Mr. Boo-Boo. Why isn't Mr. Boo-Boo so cute when he's angry? A solitary soul, a plea for help. We know not from whence it came, or do we?